There's so many things that Amazon's done to protect itself because they're afraid of what Pandora's box will open. Because they're afraid Google will replicate the model and go build Amazon 2.0. Man, that you just answered a question for me that I have had for ages that I had no idea why this was. You can buy pretty much anything on Amazon, from unicorn meat to a car and anything in between. I think a lot of people may not realize this, but Amazon really started out as a logistics company, not a marketplace. They went and built hundreds of FBA facilities around the country, and the benefit to the consumer has been immense. On the same side, the sellers are not helped at all by Amazon. Seller support sucks. But they suck. Bezos. It's very difficult dealing with the system that Jeff Bezos has set up. It's a very much a shoot first, ask questions later setup. And that means that if you do make one wrong mistake, you're dead in the water. Usually monopolies are bad for consumers. Oil monopolies, railroad monopolies, and car monopolies, all the monopolies in, in American political history. This is one of the very first times that a monopoly has been good for the consumer. What has worked at Amazon is putting the customer first, which is easy to say. There is no question that Amazon has figured out how to get something from point A to point B. They own the entire vertical. Just like all monopolies historically have gone through, that's pretty insane considering the worldwide distribution vertical control that we're discussing here. Phenomenal.